What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So I'm back from the Philippines guys. It was such an incredible experience. So many memories made and I just like to thank everybody that was a part of it from my family to my new friends and also to meeting all the subscribers out there man. It was it was incredible and it was nothing short of a privilege to get to know you all and and just spend time with you guys man it was it was great that being said i didn't think i was going to be as busy as i was i thought i was going to be able to stay on top of editing as well as uploads well unfortunately wi-fi speeds were subpar at best and i actually didn't have like any time to edit because in the philippines it's just go 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 so for that i apologize and during the duration of the next few weeks i'm going to be uploading on a more frequent basis to get um all of the footage that i have um together and put out for you guys the purpose of today's video is really quite simple um i was gone for two weeks or so and i have like five packages here so i'm super excited about that and i just thought we could just unbox them together and see what i got so this first package was actually purchased on ebay while i was in the philippines and i'm going to have a link in the description to where you can find um these specific items i'm going to show you all three real fast so you guys have probably already seen this hat already whether it's on my ig or or here on the channel but I just kind of was searching up eBay one day and I thought it might be cool to have like a mesh hat with a with a camo print up front. So I looked it up, I found this one. $15 really can't go wrong and I'll have a link in the description to where you can find it. But I did re-up on the two other colors just because um, I just wore them all the time while I was in the Philippines, whether it was on hikes or at the beaches or what have you. And actually I gave the gray one to Bryce, so that's why I don't have the gray one. So I got another black one here, and um, as you guys can probably see, it is pretty reminiscent of the James Purse hats. Um, the only difference is that uh, this is Velcro, uh, that of which I don't mind whatsoever. It fits very, very well. I love how, like, the top, um, it just fits well. Like, you know, like I have like a rounder face, and I think it complements it, like, better than, than most hats do, so I'm not definitely glad I picked these up. Uh, they're made by a company called Auto, and I'll have a link in the description, as I said earlier, to where you can buy these, and these are priced at approximately, like, $12 each, and that's after shipping, so super hyped on these. So this next package comes with a bit of frustration and that's because it took so dang long for this to come. Um, this is over a month process and I'm just getting it now. I'm extremely frustrated because I had to purchase uh, doubles of this because I wasn't sure if my package was coming. Um, I would hear stories time and time again where um, people's orders were canceled or it would say shipped but it had not yet come and it had been like two weeks already so i had actually already purchased repurchased some of these garments and so packs and that's super frustrating i definitely think that they need to either a waiver the fact that um they don't do refunds and only do store credit and i'm gonna try and do that um what like once i open this and get it back into the store i'm definitely gonna try my best and hopefully i can persuade them because this this is ridiculous like over a month to get my package packs on that that's that's insane to me let me know in the comment section below if this happened to you or if you have a story similar to it but anyways guys let's just go ahead and get right into the box This is the Fear of God Collection 2 tank top. I went for a size medium, which is the same size as I've purchased in the past. And the size that I purchased for almost all of my fog items, I got it in black as well as in tan here. I'm not gonna open it up because I'm gonna try to return this stuff. Hopefully it works out, or well, some of this stuff at least. Um, I also purchased the trousers. And these are the cargo pants. Uh, these are a size small, which is the same size that I got in the camo pants. Um, I already tried these on in store and they fit, so I think I'm all good here and I'm gonna keep this one. Um, this is gonna be such a cool piece to wear definitely during spring and come summertime, so super easy to wear. Definitely gotta pick it up. Next up, I have the quarter zip black hoodie. Um, size small. I'm sure you guys have seen this already time and time again, so I'm not gonna get into detail But size small the same size I always wear and lastly 
I have the brick that is known as the backpack. I actually think it looks good. I just don't think the quality justifies the price, if that makes sense. I would be more than happy to keep this thing, or I'd be more than happy to have this thing if it was like 60 bucks, but for 200, I think it was a little bit steep. It's a good looking backpack nonetheless. So there's a backpack there. Again, I'm sure you've already seen it. Considering the fact that it's been so dang long since I ordered this stuff. All things considered, that's gonna be the fog stuff. This was like the worst release I've ever, ever been a part of. And I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what's going on with Paxson or, or what it is, if it's fog or what have you, but this was very, very frustrating. The next package here is one that I'm really excited to open up and it's from Mint Crew. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Dang, these are, these are really nice. I'm really hyped on these. So I got the embroidery, super, super dope. So I have two hoodies here from Mint Crew, super hyped on them. Honestly, I'm just hearing about like when they were making these things and uh, seeing like the first prototype of it, I was like, dude, these are super sick. I definitely consider these to be like an everyday hoodie, something that you just throw on if you're going to the gas station or whatever, or just to go to the movies or what have you. Super hyped on these. And I'm gonna open up and let's, let's see how they look and fit and stuff. Um, they're obviously champion brand hoodies. And I actually really like Champion brand hoodies. Um, if you guys have already seen, I have the 4241 and I, I wear it all the time. Yeah, this thing is super dope. Yeah, this is like one of the higher quality Champion hoodies, I'd say. As you can see here, Champion brand. Yeah, this is like on the higher end. So um, if I'm not mistaken, there's like tiers for Champion's hoodies. And this is, this is one of the higher, higher end ones, I'm pretty sure. Feels really great, oversized. I went for a size large, if you guys are wondering. And yeah, man, let's go. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try this thing on. So here's the fitment of it. This thing honestly is the perfect hoodie. Like, I'm so hyped about how this thing fits. Yeah, this is such an easy hoodie to wear. Super clean, minimal. Dang, man, main crew. Guys, I did yourself again. So for this last package, I actually do not know what's inside. Um, I wasn't expecting anything new um, apart from this stuff that's back here. But regardless of anything, um, it's always nice to get surprises. So um, let's go ahead and see what's inside together. Oh, okay. I know what it is now. So we have a new pair of shoes, guys. Born on Melrose is a really, really high quality sneaker brand that I actually am just hearing about recently. Actually, my good friend Albert, you guys might know him as A Marin on Instagram, put me onto this brand. Um, I DM'd him, I go, bro, what shoes are you wearing? And this was the pair. And I reached out to the company and they were gracious enough to send me a pair. Um, just to kind of show you guys and hopefully help uh, their brand grow. And let's go ahead and see what we have here. Inside is a pair of moccasins. And I think, yep, there are the gray ones. So here they are, guys. Holy smokes, these are beautiful. Look at the shape of the toe box. I love the fact that it has such like an athletic, um, I guess like aerodynamic shape, if that makes sense. I don't know if that was like the appropriate description, but I mean, these are these are gorgeous. I love the way they look. The outsole kind of reminds me of like a Roche run. Really flexible. Don't worry guys, I'm definitely gonna go on foot with these and give you guys like a review of like how they feel, but these are beautiful. I'm super hyped. I went for a size 42 um, and I'm usually size nine. So yeah, I'll let you know if they fit in just a moment. I'm just kind of look at them, looking at them. I guess you could say these are kind of representative of, of, of VisVim kind of, um, but these look to me a little bit more athletic. As you can see here in the midsole um, is just like or reminiscent of the Roche Run midsole and the outsole has this nice grippy region. 
Um, it definitely looks like an athletic shoe and they honestly feel great on feet. Uh, they fit perfectly, so if you're a size nine, um, use my sizing as to be relative to, uh, and this is a size 42. I love how these look. Definitely see myself wearing uh, these with like a pair of denim, zip denim. Um, the stacking, I'm assuming, will look really, really good. And I'm just really happy with these, man. These are honestly exceed my expectation. One thing that's really nice about this shoe is the fact that it screams luxury and quality. I mean, first and foremost, these are made in Italy. They're imported from Italy, handmade. And you can just tell, like, the suede, um, just everything about these shoes is well crafted. Even the packaging just feels of like such good quality. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a thumbs up as it does go such a long way for us YouTubers. That being said, if you guys have any stories with regard to your PacSun experience, um, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding uh, the garments that I just showed you, or if you just wanna talk, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. as you guys know I love engaging with you guys all that being said as I end every video here at Locust Wand Honey I'm gonna say peace and be blessed